In this video, we are going to discuss example 8. There are two main informations given in this question. The first information is, the second term is negative 5. This means T2 equal negative 5. The second information is, the seventh term is 10. This means T7 equal to 10. In this question, we are required to find the 8th term. This refers to T8 and also the smallest values of n such that the sum of the first n terms exceeds 500. To find the 8th term, we are going to use the n term formula. Please refer the formula over here. Now, based on the first information, we have a plus 2 minus 1 times t equal to negative 5. By simplifying this, we get a plus d equal negative 5. This is our first equation. Next, based on the second information, we have a plus 7 minus 1 times t equal to 10. By simplifying this, we have a plus 6d equal to 10. This is our second equation. Now, here we have two equations with two unknown. We are going to solve them simultaneously by taking equation 2 minus equation 1. We will obtain 5d is equal to 15, so the d value is equal to 3. Now, let us plug in d equal to 3 into equation 1 to find the values of a. So we have a plus 3 is equal to negative 5, so a is equal to negative Alright, so to find the 8 terms, T8, we are going to substitute the values of D, A and N into the N term formula. So we have negative 8 plus 8 minus 1 times with 3. And this is equal to 13. Next, let us move on to find the smallest value of n. Given that the sum of the first n terms exceeds 500, this means xn greater 500. Now, we are going to plug in the values of a and d from the previous part into the sn formula. Please refer the formula over here. So we have n over 2, 2 times negative 8 plus n minus 1 times 3 is greater than 500. Now, let us simplify this until we get the simplest form. Here, to eliminate 1 over 2, we are going to multiply 2 both sides. Now, let us rearrange this so that the right hand side is equal to 0. To solve these quadratic inequalities, we are going to use number line. Here, we clearly see that the sign is greater than. 
This refers to positive sign. Now, by using quadratic formula, let us find the values of n and assume that it is always positive. We have n is greater than 21.697 or n is greater than negative 15.36. Now, let us put them in a number line. So when n is greater than 21.697, this is going to the right side. And when n is greater than negative 15.36, this is also going to the right side. So we have negative, negative, here is positive, negative, positive, positive. Finally, we have negative times negative is positive. Positive times negative is negative. And positive times positive is positive. So, we choose the positive region. This is because we are referring to this sign. So, the answer is n is less than negative 15.36 or n is greater than 21.697. But here, we ignore n is less than negative 15.36. This is because we know that n is always positive. That means the smallest values of n is 22. Well, that's it. Thank you.